All right, Bobolo Strikes here, and it's time for the weekly vault news. And we got five vaults, so I'm going to be cutting through all of them. So let's see what each of my tombs gets. Demon Hunter first. He's got some good stuff on him. Let's see if we can get four-piece, two-piece, or something good. So, perfect. Perfect, that's what I wanted, okay. All right, we're gonna use this to get four piece because I got a tier convert. I just wanted to wait to get a hero piece, another one. I want to think, well, I can convert one of them. You know what, I am gonna convert one of them. I could technically get like a hero something, but I need to collect all the armors anyway, right? Heroic, normal, tier set, so go ahead. Boom. We got four piece on my Demon Hunter. He's 605. Big chitlin. I'm saving this stuff. For when we have a lot of tier converts and I can help fill in the set. Alright, we're on the Warlock King. What are we looking for here? Oh. Alright, just upgrades. I guess bell. I guess bell. Yeah, I guess bell. It's just it's straight up an upgrade. Uh, we'll hold on to this for tier looks. Hero there, hero there, champion there. Man, I'm sad I didn't get to hero. Well, he's doing fine. He's doing fine. Uh, he's six o something. I don't want to. Now my pal, my paladin, Palian, she got a ball. So let's see. All right, let's see what she got. She needs help. She needs a lot of help. I don't have any tier. She needs it. I'm missing out on a, a heroic trinket, but. Oh well. I need to get. I need to do more on her. I'm slacking you. She hasn't converted stuff either, so I need to get some hero pieces. Alright, well, she got one piece. Someone say. All you need is the one piece. So. There you go. Oh, she's so neglected. Okay, I gotta I gotta play my paladin more. Alright, we're here on my PvP Death Knight. So, let me switch to... Item level. Alright, so she's sitting at about 600. She's sitting at about 600 here. Make sure I don't want to be in the wrong gear when I'm looking for what I need. Alright, okay. So she could hopefully get four piece for PVE. Alright, looks like she's hitting a ring for PVE. I don't even think those stats are good, but it's a big item level. Alright, well, it's Delve Week. It is Delve Week, so... There we go. Save that for item level. Alright. 
Earth. Now for the big guy. All right, time for my big gun. We're looking for the tier chest. Maybe a big weapon. Let's see. Not for preservation. I don't want no healing trinkets. All right, what do we got? Nope, nope. Nope. Already got that. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, that is hero chest. Got the big knife. I'll have to upgrade. But this is the hero pet pe uh, chest, so I'm gonna go ahead and get that. So I'm, I'm five set. I'm five piece on my dragon. There we go. We get that that nice trance uh, jingle. All right. Those stats are better for me. Oh well. Oh, well, we're taking it. We're taking it. Oh. Gold dragon. We got the five piece. All right, now I can get that some some upgrades. All right, and then what's my key? Necrotic weight. Not too bad, not too bad, not too bad. Here, I want to put some of this stuff aside. Okay, so let's get into the actual news instead of me looking at my inventory. Okay, so what are the weeklies this week? Spark of War. Here, we'll do PvP last. Uh, it's Delve Week, and we got Delve Quests this week. Complete any Delves in Kazagar. Uh, you get it from Bran over here. This is the weekly this week. You know, you had the Data Quest last week. You know... Now it's Delves this week. Then the dungeon this week is the Rookery. You do have to be uh, level capped to get the dungeon quest. But the dungeon quest lets you choose rep. That's how I'm getting tons of rep all the time. And then we got Call to Delves because it's the Delve Weekly. You can get this. Get Champion Piece of Loot. This is going to be good. And it just says 5 Delves at any tier. You can run five tier ones and get champion peace so this is going to be great for gearing up alts and it is not warbound one one a time you can do this on all your characters so get delves done this week and now let's get into pvp so sparks of war isle of dorn and get that 250 rep if you want to just do world quests and treasures just be careful when you got war mode up dornagal is going to be spicy Isle Dorn. Alright. We got Arena Skirmishes this week, as well as Solo Shuffle. I don't know why I closed that, but yeah, Solo Shuffle for more rep. It does it is saying now it gives you a hundred in each for solo shuffle and arena skirmishes. So that's good rep if you want to min max rep. And that brings me into what else is going on in PvP. So the Brawl South Shore versus Terran Mail. You can hit that up. The caps have increased. So what are the currency caps for Conquest and Bloody Tokens this week? So we got 3k Bloody Tokens. It is easy to catch up with Bloody Tokens. And 3.4k Conquest. I got some more gear to get on my PvP tune, which I have for once. All right. Now, what is M plus this week? Zalatath's what? Void bound. While in combat, Zalatath summons a void emissary that empowers nearby enemies. And then it's tyrannical first this week. Fortified late uh, later. You know how if you've done Mythic Plus, you know how it, it shifts in the new season. 
But yeah, she's going to be summoning uh, Void Emissaries. I think that's a soak one. I'm not 100% sure. I do M plus on Thursdays. You know, I've been getting there. Just doing a couple of keys a week. Not too crazy. I ain't in a rush. I'm not in a rush. Though, I, you know what? I am going to do an update. I'm in a rush on rep. I got two new mounts. I got the Lynx and I got a Mole this week. So I was happy about that. Um, and I am going to finish up Spiders this week, I think. Or get pretty dang close. So there's some mounts there because I do have a lot of Kej on my account. I should be able to get some good the, the goodies. Um, and then let's go over the events. Brewfest is ongoing. It ends this Sunday. So make sure you get that done. Anything you want to get. And... It's Delve Week. I already mentioned that. Which gives us Delver's Journey Progress. And here's the thing. Real quick. So when you do a delve, you'll get an item to turn in, and it said it'll give you 3k progress. It didn't give me the progress. So be wary of that. I'm a little upset about that. I may put in a ticket, but I am gonna be maybe it did go in. Maybe I did get it. All I know is you get 3k progress, so it's nice little progress, so now I can purchase keys. Maybe it did work. But either way, it's Delve Week. You get bonus coins, and you get more experience for good old Bran over here. Help him level. As you can see, leveling them up 45 plus starts taking a little bit. You're not there yet. Alright, and then the world boss this week is right here in the Isle of Dorne, just south of of the capital so that's an easy one and the hounds are up the shade hound is up in the shadowlands so if you want to hit up the beast warrens hit up the hounds good luck on that mount and uh, molly is not up this week so hang up now, what else do we got? News. So let's get into it. There's the new trading posts. You know, I've already been there myself. I love how it's right here in the capital. So you can hit up the trading post right here once you're done. I finished it super easy. I've been even going extra here. You know, it's light versus dark, I guess, is the theme. And you get... The jellyfish, of course. And there's some other little goodies. Like that cool... Scarecrow set. Which I am somewhat in. But I got new items. Brewfest is ending soon. I already said that. Uh, here's something kind of... Not cool, in my opinion. Oh, I can't show it off. Uh, they're, they're selling the broom from last Halloween. Well, they've sold Trading Post stuff before. It is what it is. They're selling the broom. Love it, hate it. That's what they're doing. I've already got it. But some people can buy it if they want. Uh, the Race the World first ended this week. Liquid won, so good for them. Uh, Zekvir's been nerfed. That happened this week. I've already talked about it. But he's really good to farm for tier 8s. If you haven't heard. Uh, this week they did a bunch of Mythic Raid tuning after the race. Uh, it's Del Week. I already said that. They added some Battle.net avatars uh, for the class. Uh, the hero specs. So if you want to change your Battle Knight avatar, they added some new ones. They did dungeon tuning along with the raid tuning, trinket tuning, and I think they did some class tuning as well. Uh, so look into that if you want the details. The Dark Iron Mold Machines, they got added to a lot of the other zones that didn't have them, but not the new zone. So like, 
I think Dragon Isles, Shadowlands, they got some. And then the Hollow Derby changes went in. So remember this Saturday, uh, if you want to do the, the Derby, I have a little guide on it for like a trick you could use to just funnel alts through the Derby to get a lot of uh, marks. So you can get that one scuba outfit if, you, if that's what you want. And some other little goodies. And then at some point this month, we're getting 11.0.5. All right. My guess has been the 22nd. Other people have jumped on the 22nd too. Seems to be the day that may be happening. Uh, we got Sod Phase 5 is now in full swing. There's been a bunch of like class weapons, which I think is kind of cool. Uh, there was some PvP BG drama where Alliance were just throwing the game to get two marks of honor. So they reverted that change. It was a whole thing. And then there for Blackwing Leia, there's like Dragonflight Trials. So I thought that was cool, and I just wanted to mention that. Um, Kata has some Fireland testing happening on the uh, 7th of this month. And then this... The season for Kata is supposedly ending on the 21st. And there is going to be some preseason or postseason. Either way, this week of the 21st may have something for Kata Classic. But. I've heard a lot of people complaining about how slow Kata Classic has been. So, hopefully they look out for the Cataclassic players. It's not my thing, but they sh I get that they think people are playing all the different versions, but I think a lot more ple people are playing the War Within, but you shouldn't neglect Cataclassic players that don't want to play New WoW. So, and then there was whether or not Mop was going to be a thing, I think, I heard it go around. Um... My opinion is it's not my deal, so mop, no mop, whatever. I think people, I think it should get mop personally if I was going to have an opinion, but it ain't that big of a deal for me. Over, uh, Hearthstone, I nearly missed this too when I was writing my news. So the event is still ongoing. It's a new month, so the new card back. Um, and you can get your packs if you got your rank. I haven't been playing a lot. Uh, they did nerf Mage. And then, yeah, that event has that one Mudan uh, card back. They, you know what they need to do? They need, We need a Mudang card back in Hearthstone. Alright. So, Diablo 4 news. There was a whole live action trailer and it looked pretty cool. Um, and they released the launch time, so Diablo 4 Vessel of Hatred is launching on the 7th in NA. 8 global, but you know how the time zones do, and with WoW, so it's going to be on the 7th. So, if you're going to pre-order it, you need to do it now. Not that I'm telling you to pre-order it, that's your own business. But if you want to pre-order it, uh, now's the time. All right, and then the expansion is going to be required for the Spirit Barn, the new area, mercenaries, the the raid thing. Um, but it's not going to be required to get level sixty, the new Paragon, the new character slots. You're getting two new character slots, the item quality rework, and the seasonal content, uh, and party finder will all be available in the base game. So that's cool. You can't get everything, but you can get some stuff. And then you can preload it now, and they are doing Twitch drops as well for it. And those start on the 8th. Alright. And then in Overwatch news, My Hero Academia crossover. So, if you like My Hero Academia and Overwatch, you got a crossover. So, good for y'all. Uh, I'm waiting for the One Piece crossover, and then I'll play Overwatch again. Uh, there was an Anna short story that released as well. The new anniversary week two is up, and that has 
the balanced Overwatch mode, and uh, Baptiste Legendary skin is up to be earned. And then the the My Hero Academia crossover starts on the 17th. It's on the 17th. So that's in two weeks. And then there are Overwatch drops for the competitive. So you watch Overwatch competitive for some Twitch drops this weekend, I believe. It's uh, this weekend. I didn't write the date. That's my bad. And you can get two free tier skips because of some XP thing. So in Overwatch, you should be able to claim two free tier skips. And then this week in Rumble, the Ysira event is starting. So Scenarian is getting their third hero. And it's going to be Ysira. And that's this week. And that's the news. Thank y'all for watching as always. And I'll see y'all uh, in the next one. Yeah, that's it. I, I was going to mention kind of what I'm working on. But I don't, I don't really have stuff at the moment in the works. We're gonna, just going to figure it out as we go. Anyways, thank you for watching as always, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.